Remember this thing? It has been five years since I did the Maybelline The Nudes palette review and tutorial and swatches, and I'm gonna revisit my thoughts on that palette. I'm Alexa, and I do new beauty videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so subscribe so that you can join the crew, boo. In today's video, you're in for a treat because I'm doing a number of things, including swatching this bad boy alongside other drugstore palettes. I'm also doing a makeup look with the Nudes palette. In the last five years, I'd like to think my makeup skills have improved. Let's rewind back to 2014 when the Naked craze was still going strong, even though it had been four years since the original Naked palette had launched back in 2010. Maybelline released the Nudes palette, and I think a whole slew of drugstore brands did the same thing, and we all flocked to the drugstore because we couldn't get enough of those cheap nudes. I don't know about you, but back then my appetite for nude palettes was absolutely insatiable. The Annabelle Eyebrow Palette. Joe Fresh Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette, which is quite similar to palettes from Sonia Kashuk. Covergirl True Naked in Goldens. And last but not least, the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted palette, which if you take out the peachy shade is pretty much a neutral palette. So my standards now in 2019 are not the same as they were back in 2014. In my initial review, I think I was being very kind. There are a lot of discrepancies in pigmentation. And now looking back, I could straight up say it was quite chalky. Obviously now the palette has degraded over five years, but it was chalky then too. So if someone took all of my drugstore nude palettes and I had to go to the drugstore now and pick up a replacement, I would not even glance at this. Competition is fierce. And it's not just about pigmentation, it's also the colors. It's crazy how looking at a nude palette now, you can instantly know if it's dated. In this palette, we have too many similar shades. You've got this one down here, this one right here, and this. Why do you need three taupes? I know they're all different finishes, but they look the same on the lid. Then we've got one, two, and three light shades, different finishes and different tones, but only one of them is pigmented. The darker shades are okay, and the bronzy shade is all right. When I was doing this makeup look, I kept having to retouch such colors on my lid to make sure that they still showed after the blending process. So getting into the tutorial, I can definitely achieve a very nice look with this palette, but it's not without a lot of work. Because this is a powdery eyeshadow palette, we're going to be using a base of concealer and a neutral eyeshadow on top just to help blending later. I alternated between two taupe shades in the palette, although this one was actually shimmery. I'm taking a matte taupe shade for the transition. Then I'm taking the shimmery brown for the outer lid. And I decided to blend a bit at this point. I'm cleaning off my packing brush to move on to the next color which is going to be a mixture of the gold and the lighter bronzy shade, which I will pack on the inner portion of the lid. Taking the same mixture on an angled brush, I'm gonna start working on the upper and lower lash lines, creating a wing effect. And to darken that line, I'm using the black shadow afterwards. Then I'm gonna work on my eyebrows, put on some liquid liner, mascara, and some false lashes. I don't think there's any reason to buy this palette in 2019, if I'm entirely honest with you. I would say that there are loads of other palettes. If I could recommend to you a eyeshadow palette with more relevant color pairings, I would recommend this one from Wet n Wild, which is the Rose in the Air palette. It's smaller, more compact, and the colors perform better. It is a knockoff of the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And that palette has already reached cult favorite status. It's kind of a holy grail for a lot of people. I hope that you guys enjoyed the comparisons and the tutorial and the look that I came up with. Let me know if you still have the nudes in your makeup collection, if you ever owned it or tried it and what your thoughts were. And I look forward to chit-chatting in the comments down below. Bye. See you on Tuesday or Thursday.